Okay, so, you guys already saw the title, so there's not much explaining to do. Um, however, there may be, because not everyone knows what I'm talking about. But to give you a quick explanation, um, what I'm going to be showing you in today's video is just a way to make a money transfer room where you can transfer digital money between players. For instance, I have a million dollars and my friend has nothing. Haha, <laughs> get react. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be showing how to make a room to transfer that to them. So first thing I'm going to do is just show you a quick example of one. Um, don't worry what map I'm on, it's just a map I'm working on. But if we head in here... And then, as you can see, we have two money transfer rooms, number one, number two. Now, I'm going to go on this side of one, and then my friend's going to go over there. Now, like I said, I have a million dollars, and they have zero. Now, if I want to transfer, let's say, $10 million, and I click this button, it's going to do nothing, because I don't have that much. However, I have more than $100, so if I click this, as you can see, it transferred 100 Now, if I could get that back, I could show the million. There we go. And now let's say I want to transfer a million dollars. Then it transferred the million from me to them. And yeah, as you can see, I got zero. I can click whatever now and nothing's going to happen because I don't have the money. They're not going to get anything from it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all that I need to show you for showing it working. And now I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So let's get on to that. Okay, so... I built up this little area right here. Now, it's not as pretty as the last one. However, this is just to show you a quick and easy demonstration of it. This took me a, a whole five minutes to build. You guys can probably do a lot better. But anyway, um, I haven't done any commands here. I've just, you know, placed blocks. There's a bit of redstone going to be involved in this. Do not worry, though. I will be explaining everything. So quickly, just need to say you need two sides to each um, transfer area. And um, what we need is a little floor. If you want to color them out like I've done, you can. But we need a little floor with some pressure plates on them. And then if you notice, actually, underneath these pressure plates are redstone. And actually, since there are pressure plates here, I'm just going to break this area. But wherever there are pressure plates, as you can see, there's a 3x4 grid there. There's going to be redstone below. There's a 3x4 grid here. Now... As you saw, um, you may have caught it, you may have not, it's fine, but whenever you step into these rooms, they cover with glass so they lock, meaning no one else can come in, which that's pretty essential, because you don't want anyone else, you know, transferring someone else's money to their friend or whatever, right? But basically, it's going to lock one person in one room. Now, that's what I'm going to be showing first, and then I will be showing um, a quick and easy version um, of the actual buttons. So, the first thing we're going to do is well we had to choose what block we're gonna have place here i'm just gonna do glass but um so for that we need to place a command block below here and there's gonna be a gap um here so then someone can step off the pressure plates for it to open so there's pressure plates gap wall that's how it's gonna go so right below our wall we're gonna place a command block and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly up here and then we're going to go this way to figure out which coordinate is changing. And for me, it is the X coordinate and is going in the positive direction. And mine is four blocks up. So now what I'm going to do is type in here, fill, tilde, tilde. And then we're starting three blocks above the command block. So I'm just going to put a three here and put another tilde. Now, yours may be a different height, but this is one block, two blocks, and three blocks. This is why I'm starting with three. Now, this is what we're going to do for a second. A second coordinate which is why you need to figure out which direction it's going I'm gonna put tilde and two because this is zero one two and it's going positive in the X direction maybe Z it may be going negative that's depend that all depends on the direction you built this however you just got to figure out how this is going so for me like I said it's going over in the X direction and we want it to go up to fill this area so this is gonna be now we need to figure out the height so I can put another tilde here but I gotta put a number here now which it wouldn't it's not gonna be a three it's gonna be a bit bigger so we got to figure out how many blocks above this is compared to the command block so this is one two three four and five so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put five here to show the height and then we can simply put a tilde because we don't want the Z axis to change and now we're gonna put a block which I'm just gonna do glass put a zero and then replace error just like that and now I'm going to attach it with a little bit of redstone and now when I step on here it's not gonna work because I did something wrong so um can this should work uh give me just a second if I place a toy okay hold on I did something uh tilde 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 wait um 
I have no clue what I did wrong. Uh, you guys are probably seeing it, and then I am looking stupid. Uh, what what did I do? If I make this always active, no. Okay, so it's right here. Okay. Fill here. Tilde, tilde, tilde. Um, I'm going to check really quick what I did wrong, and when I get that, I'll be right back. All right, I apologize for that. Um, it was as simple as I had a game rule to false. I had this on false, so command blocks were off. But now that they're on, uh, I'll continue from here. So, like I was saying, if I step on here, glass is going to appear. And now we gotta make it so when I step off, it's gonna disappear. Now, what we can simply do is copy this command block. So I'm just control pick blocking that. I did a, vi a video on that, how to copy MBT. You should definitely watch it. It's really useful. Anyway, that's enough. Um self plug I guess whatever so we're gonna copy this command block and we're gonna place it here now we gotta modify a few things in here first being I'm gonna change glass replace an air to air zero replace glass and what we also have to do is change this two to a negative two and now what we have to do is now we have to grab a redstone torch and I believe this should work now when I step on there's glass and when I step off there's not and what we can do is we can copy this command block now, place it here, copy this one, put it right here. Now we can take a block, a little bit of redstone, and then do the same torch thing over here. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Now, um, the method I'm going to be doing for the buttons, we need to assign everyone a score. So like this, let's say, would be money transfer, and then the person standing here would have a score of 1, and this person would have a score of 2. Now, the easiest way is we got to find which direction is going negative, negative. What I mean by that is if I fly this direction, you look at my coordinates, my Z is going negative, but my X is actually going positive. So I believe it's going to be this way. Yeah. So this way is negative, negative. Um, and what we're going to do is break down, even break that block down there in both rooms. Now, we got to simply place command block here. Um, don't worry about this. It's just going to be a normal command block. So blank one like this. Um, and after we've done that, we actually need to create a scoreboard. So I'm just going to be doing scoreboard, objectives, add, and then you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine money transfer, uh, if I can spell that right. There we go. And then dummy. It doesn't need a display name. So there we go. Done, right? Now what we need to do in here is scoreboard players. Oh, okay. You should type it without that little um, bracket. So scoreboard players set at p and now we need to do dx equals and now we got to figure out uh how far in this direction our x is going and simple similar with the door it's going two blocks so we can put a dx equals two this is distance x this is for square radius so all it means is how many blocks in this direction is going from the command block so this is one and two same thing for the z this is one two three and this is why we did our negative negative corner because these are going in positive directions if you did different coordinate and let's say your x value starts here and it's going down, then you would just make this a negative 2. But for me, I'm doing it so it's going positive. It's what works best for me. So we're going to put a comma. We're going to put dz equals. And then, like I said, it's going 3 in this direction out. Actually, no, it's going 4. We want to count this block as well. And once we have that, we are just going to do comma dy equals. And then we can put any number. I'm just going to put 5. That'll work. Um, as long as this is, you know, when it goes five blocks up, the player is going to be in that uh, little cube area. Now, from there, we're going to close this off, and we're going to now choose what scoreboard we want. And it's going to be the scoreboard we just added. So for me, mine was money transfer, and I'm going to set this person to one. And then, you know, you can get our command check again, make sure there's no issues. This is from before, but um, yeah, there's no issues with mine. So it should look something like this. Your scoreboard may be called some different, but uh, yeah. Now what we're going to do is put a little tick delay of 5 in here. There we go. We're going to copy that command block, come over here, and we're going to change our 1 to a 2. All right. Now once we've done that, we can put our redstone back on both sides. And then we can cover these up and put our pressure plates back on them. Just like so. Here we go. And I'm going to set my scoreboard to display and list just to show you. You don't have to do this. This is just to show you it working. So if I do this and then set my money transfer, um, I got to delete that. So as you can see, I have a score of 1. So if I'm standing here, I get 2. But now we got to make sure when I step off, it gets rid of that score. 
and ignore that it changed, but um, yeah. So I gotta make sure it gets rid of this score. So what I'm going to do is put a command block down here. Uh, actually not down here, but next to the torch. Doing scoreboard players reset at a scores equals and then a money transfer equals and then two because that's what this room is doing and make sure after this you put your scoreboard again so it doesn't reset the player every score the player has so just like this now as you can see if i set this to here i have a score of two so when i step in here still have it but when i step off now it got rid of it and now we got to just simply copy this command block and then put it back over here now we can't have it right next to the redstone so i'm pretty sure it should work under here um, I ran into some issues with redstone in the past, but I'm pretty sure this should work and as long as it works It works, so if I'm gonna just set this here so I can see it again And when I step off it it does that so yeah, you can have this under the torch if you want Now what we're gonna do is work on our buttons I'm gonna be starting on the red side showing this but um we gotta decide you know what do we want to transfer like in the other one it went a hundred a thousand whatever right I'm just gonna do a hundred for simplicity so you can type you can I would say put a sign here and type what it's gonna be so people can read it if not you know you do you but I'm gonna put a sign it doesn't have to be anything fancy I'm just gonna put transfer 100 on this side and then I'm gonna do the same on the other now we need command block to come out back because we're going to have buttons right here. So simply on top of here, I'm going to place a command. Uh, don't worry what's in this, it's going to be a blank command block. I don't know why I keep doing that. But um, what this command is going to be is test for at p scores equals and then money transfer equals one. Now we're going to actually copy this command, put it on top of itself, but we're going to make it a chain, a conditional, and always active. And my commands just always have tick delay in them, which we do not want. This all should be set to zero. But now we, we're going to actually copy these commands and bring them right to the other side. And there's no difference. So, yeah. Um, now that we have both of these here, we're going to change this one in this top command to be a two. Now, what this is going to do is knock, the command is not going to run when we click the button if there isn't a person in room one and two, or like side one and two. There has to be a person in both, so one person with a score of 1 and one person with a score of 2 for this to work. Now, this side, if we check it again, is going to be giving us a score of 1, and we have to keep that in mind. So, what we're doing here is essentially we're going to test how much money I have if I'm standing here. If it's more than 100, it's going to take 100 away from me and give 100 to player 2. So, that's what we're going to do now. So, I'm going to do the test and remove in one score. Uh, command so we're gonna just simply do scoreboard if I can type um, <laughs> ignore that there we go players remove and then at P scores equals and then we're gonna put a little bracket money transfer equals one because this is number one you have to keep that in mind I'm just gonna put a little comma and put money equals 100 dot dot this is just testing if I have money a uh, hundred or more now, you have to have a money scoreboard set up, a currency scoreboard. That shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but if you already have one, just put that in place of where I put money. Now, we're going to close this off. And our currency scoreboard, again, mine is called money. So I'm going to be removing 100 from the player. And simply, we're going to put one more command block. Make sure it's chain, conditional, always active. And it's going to be scoreboard players add at p scores equals money transfer equals 2 and then money 100 now this side I'll be able to transfer 100 to this player except it's not gonna work on that side yet so we're gonna grab these two command blocks because remember we already have the first two and we're gonna place one here and then we're gonna place one here now simply all we have to do is go into here and change this one to a two and change the two in here to a one and I'm just realizing I didn't put an M here, so you know, make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes like I did. Uh, I'm gonna fix this command block. Yep, it's broken too. But um, yeah, you shouldn't make any spelling mistakes. You guys are a lot smarter than I am, trust me. But um, yeah, basically, all this is doing is now it'll take money from the player with a score of one. It'll take a hundred dollars and give a hundred to the player with a score of two. So um, I have my friend over here. Um, you know, if you, you, 
do you want to help me test it or you you just want to keep doing whatever you're doing um we, we should probably go over here so yeah this should work now um let me put them in creative yeah um there we go so um yeah now we just gotta place our buttons in uh just like this so I'm gonna put one here, one here. Now you can put transfer, let's say a thousand here, and all that's gonna happen is you're gonna change whether it's a hundred, a hundred to a thousand. Same in this command block, and remember how to switch them between sides. But if I TP my friend over here, there we go, and I go in here. Now remember the glass closes, we got that working, and then I have the score. So as you can see, I have money, but they do not. So if they were to try to click it, then nothing would happen. As you can see, nothing happened. However, pay attention to that number there. It's a seven for me. If I click it, then that seven should go down. Um, if I do scoreboard, uh, no, yeah, it should go down. Take a little bit of time to update. That's just how my display is set up, but it did work. Um, if I actually use scoreboard objectives, that's display list to money. I'm doing money display, but um, okay. If I do this again, there we go. It's a bunch of player offline. But pay attention to how that's a six. And if I click this again, then it's going to immediately update. So depending on how fast you have your display one update, you know, that's how fast it'll update. Did a video on that a while ago. It's how to remove player offline. But um, yeah, and then if they were to click the transfer 100, it would give me 100 back. As you can see, it just happened. Again, all you got to do to increase the amount, let's say, you know, you wanted to do transfer 1,000, if I can spell. So like this. All right. Uh, these first two command blocks are actually going to be the same across all of them. So like this and this. Again, just making sure there's player one and player two. Doesn't matter the order they're in. And then we copy, let's say, this command block here. Put it down. Change this 100 to be a thousand. This 100 to be a thousand. Same thing here just like this and this 100 to be a thousand now you would want to do this on both sides and make sure you have the numbers correct whereas for me if i put a button here it would work but um yeah this is going to take a second to update but it's not over there so obviously i can't get my money back in intervals of 1000 but as you can see it just updated so um yeah that's pretty much it how to make a money transfer <laughs> if you're doing it please make it a lot prettier than this because um yeah this looks horrendous i'm not good at building um i would recommend having like a barrel or a chest of some sort in here if you're doing this on a realm or a server just so it keeps the economy moving like uh i could be like okay um i will give you a I will give you four redstone if you give me a hundred dollars something like that that's why it's good to have this in here um but yeah i don't know if i mentioned this or not i may have may have not whatever but um this was something that you guys have been suggesting actually for a while now so i figured why not give it a go and do it but um also something else you guys have been asking for a skyblock island generator tutorial now i've kind of been putting that off however okay um, this is gonna be a big one, but if this video can get to 150 likes, I'll do a video on that. I will be showing few methods probably, or just one good one. I don't know, but um, yeah. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to share this video, give it a like, and you know why not? If you want to see an island generator, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, that's gonna be it for me for today. Make sure to join my Discord. The link for that is down down below in the description. But um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.